StarCraft 2 is an interesting game. StarCraft 2 is an interesting game because its multiplayer is very coordinated. One time I was playing with my little brother Bobby. We started a game against two easy difficulty AI. The game had a mod in the map we were playing called Instant Build and Train. That allows us to instantly build buildings and instantly make army units. Bobby was playing as the Zerg race and I was playing as the Protoss race. When we started the game, I made the maximum amount of probes to collect more resources. Then I built a gateway to get ground units and built a cybernetics core because it was required to build a starport which gives you air units. I made a fleet beacon to get a mothership which makes you and your allies invisible to the enemy. Meanwhile, Bobby had made 20 Ravagers, which are a medium damage unit, and 5 Ultralists, which are the most powerful Zerg unit but cost lots of resources. From the gateway I made, I had 20 Zealots, which are the basic Protoss ground unit, and 20 carriers that launch 8 interceptors each, so I had 160 interceptors. I deal mild damage, but there is power in the numbers. Bobby and I went over to the enemy's base, and before they could even do anything, they were just poof, gone. The words victory crossed the screen, and my little brother said, Yay! StarCraft 2 is an interesting game because it's also a good way to pass the time. One time, my dad and me played the match against one easy AI and one normal AI. The time spent on it was an hour and 30 minutes. We started the game, but we weren't playing with mods, so it took a little while to build things. Once I had 12 probes and my dad, who was playing as the Terran race, had 12 SCVs, he made a barracks and I made a gateway. When I had set up some photon cannons to fend out flay enemy attacks, a stalker and five zealots from the medium AI came. My dad sent some marines to kill him, and I repaired the photon cannons, adding an extra line of them. I made my starport and also warped in 10 zealots from the gateway. Then I put some more zealots to train and also warped in 5 carriers from the starport and ordered more on the way. But just when I got a mothership to make me and my allies units invisible, the AI sent a really big attack. I only had 3 zealots left and 2 carriers, but then I got more units and got 10 carriers and 80... I mean, 30 zealots. Then we went over to the enemy's base, but we couldn't destroy all of our buildings, and some enemy probes and SEVs escaped, and we couldn't track them down. Probes and SEVs can make bases, so in about 10 minutes, they had just built up another base. I even found one of their bases on the plot of land only accessible by air. I was able to destroy that base with my carriers and motherships. Then, using warp prisms to teleport my probes to the island, I made my base over there. By then, it had been about an hour, but my dad found the enemy's main base and killed the medium AI. But an easy probe escaped, and we spent the next 30 minutes wandering around looking for the probe and his base. Eventually, we found him, and after we destroyed him and his base, the words victory cr flashed across my screen, and I cheered, yay! StarCraft 2 is an interesting game because its single-player mode has a good set of missions. You play as a rebel Terran against a dictator that turned the rebel friend into um, the enemy race Zerg. The first mission you play is to kill all the dictator's marines you find in an area. Also, as a side mission, which is optional, you can destroy six of the dictator's billboards in the same area. I found lots of marines in two places, but the area I was searching was big, and the other marines were scattered um, across the map. I found the billboards easily and completed the side mission in ten minutes. After that, I just wandered around looking for the marines when the game sent me some AI to help me find them. With the AI, I found lots of marines hiding in remote places in the corner of the map. Having the AI really helped and soon I completed the mission.